Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time but never found the energy to actually do it and I'm actually going to do a wardrobe post but in video format because fuck taking pictures when I can do it as a moving picture. I have over 20 main pieces, I don't actually know how many I have. I've recently sold some but then I've also gotten some so I guess I'll find out when I open up my closet. I have a whole bunch of blouses and cut sews. I've got 15 pairs of shoes. I've got four petticoats, which I only actually end up wearing one of them most of the time. And I have a whole whack of accessories, socks and head bows, which I will kind of go over everything. And I also have a bunch of purses. Um, this is going to take like three hours if I don't stop talking. So I'm going to jump right into it. preface this with um i have a very small closet like width wise so everything's kind of jammed in there i'm gonna have to pull things out one by one for the things i want to show which will mostly be main pieces and yeah i'm just gonna do my best i also have some storage on these doors which are an entirely different color than my office this was actually the color of my office before we painted it but anyway i'm gonna start with blouses and make my way all the way over to outerwear so I don't really wear a lot of black, but for some reason I have three black blouses. This one's stacked. Oh my god, I'm sorry about the light. This one is stacked. It's um, a lace one that's off-brand, but I really like wearing it with like Fantastic Dolly it looks good with. I actually think it might look good with Princess Cat, but I think the collar is a bit round. I don't know. Um, and then I've got this one as well, which I think is from, what is it, Red Queen? Yeah, it's from Red Queen, and it's just a short sleeve black cotton one. And then I have this really nice long sleeved one from Meta. It had waist ties on it and I don't, I don't need waist ties on blouse. I'm too fat for that. So these are the only black blouses I think I have. No, I'm lying, I have one more. I have one more black blouse. It's this one. It is a tap out blouse I bought from my friend Julia like a year ago. It's got this really nice kind of lace flouncy thing and a high neck and I really like these kind of sleeve things here. I'm not sure what they're actually officially called and I don't think the first thing I think about is bishop sleeves and I don't think these are bishop sleeves. I have a lot more cut sews than I do blouses. Being a plus size Lolita I find that they're very stretchy and they fit me better and I actually fit into AP cut sews with no problem which is the majority of what I wear. Save for like a few like really short blouses. Um, this body line blouse is actually really nice and it's not shirt at all uh, but it is um, not done up all the way up, very obviously. So Dream V actually makes some really nice cut sews. I like them so much I bought two of them. This one is like wide open, but this one is pink. This one is sex, and they're just really simple, very casual. Like they don't have anything going on at the wrist. I'll usually wear wrist cups with them to kind of deal with that but they're kind of like really comfy wardrobe staples when I don't feel like doing like super OTT or wearing a blouse because I really do feel like sometimes you have to wear a blouse you can't wear this beautiful fancy dress and cop out and wear a cut so that's my opinion so you I need to wear a blouse sometimes but when I don't I wear this so I actually only own six AP cut sews, which is surprising for me because I thought I had a lot more because I wear them a lot, but I guess I just cycle through them quite a bit because they're very comfortable and they work with a lot of my wardrobe as my wardrobe is kind of cohesive, at least for the really, really sweet stuff. I have a lot of lavender and pink, so I kind of am I'm able to use my stuff often, which is good because the Angelic Pretty Cut Sews are bar none the best and I'm gonna talk about this one first which is my favorite it's so pretty it's a high neck I last wore this one with romantic rose letter and I think it looks really good and I'm a sucker for these chiffon sleeves on this cut sew -y kind of material if I could just have cut sews like this forever I would love it because like I said before I feel like sometimes you really do need a blouse but this I feel like I can get away with under a JSK without it looking too like comfortable or casual I have the sex cut sew, again same idea with the chiffon e sleeves but the cut sew material bodice. It also has a little bow that comes right here but that's kind of sitting in my accessories drawer because I don't really wear it that often. Since pink is such a large part of my wardrobe, I have two AP pink cut sews. I've got a short sleeve Peter Pan collar cherry one. This one is huge, like on me with someone who has like a, over a hundred centimeter bust, this is like 
I have a lot of room. Um, and it's not really stretched out on my waist because I have quite a difference between my waist and my bust. Uh, but yeah, this, this one's really nice. And I think it's from the Drained Cherry series. Either way, it's like my go-to summertime comfy cut so. And then I have this one as well. I don't know what this is. To be honest with you, I actually don't really like it. I don't think I've worn this in at least three years. Maybe I should sell this. I don't know. But this is another AP one that I have and apparently never wear. I have a few JSKs that have red accents. And for that, I like to wear this red cut so that's not buttoned up all the way. But you get the idea. It's kind of like a high neck. Like not super high neck, but it's a little bit up there. Gold buttons. And it's got the cool like, I don't know, button, sleeve. And finally, a cut so that I never really thought I would love, but I really do. And it's my brown turtleneck cut so. Again, sorry about the light. It's really cute. It has like little brown bows on it. You can see. Um, it has like the little angelic pretty on it. And it's incredibly stretchy and comfortable. I wear this mostly under Little Bears Cafe. I really want to wear it under my big sweet spray JSK now that that fits me again. So yeah so i'm gonna move on to blouses um i own three other than the black ones i showed you earlier i own three blouses i don't know why how i've managed that or what's up because i do not wear one pieces but i have three blouses and one of them is a an ivory one i wear this under daydream carnival it looks so good like that um i'm really a fan of it and i think it'll look good under some of my other pieces i have just haven't tried it out yet. And then I have one that's very similar. Are they the same? No, they're not the same. <clears throat> and then I have this one, which is really similar. Again, it's like fully shirred. Uh, I have had this blouse, I think for eight years, maybe nine. There, This was one of the pieces that when I first started getting into Lolita, I had to sell everything due to financial circumstances and space and living accommodations. But this was like the one thing I actually didn't end up selling because I I forgot I had it. And then when I was unpacking my stuff from storage, I realized I still had it. So this piece has been with me through quite quite a ride, actually. But yeah, fully shirred, maximum comfort for maximum fat. Next, I'm going to move on to boleros. I have a couple of them and I'm only going to show a couple of them because they're brand ones and they're really the only ones we're talking about. I have this one. I think it's a marshmallow bunny one or something similar to that. It's got bunny ears. It is so cute, but I actually haven't worn it at all, like ever, which is weird because I found a makeup stain on it and it could have been from when I bought it and I just didn't realize because I bought this easily two years ago and I have not put it on my body. The next thing I have isn't really bolero, it's a cardigan, but I really like it and I love these polka dot kind of themes. And this um, bow, actually it's this side, snaps off and like that. So you can put it on and wear it how you like, um, open or closed. I mean the, the buttons on, you know what I mean. This bolero is actually like super old and um, I got it specifically just to wear with uh, Melty Berry Princess. Um, I really love the little crocheted strawberries. I think it's so cute. Melty Berry Princess is one of those dresses that I feel is like super sweet, but almost like not sweet enough to garner wearing something like this, even though I did wear it with it. I don't know. I'm going to give it another shot. I think probably in the springtime and see how it fits. It's the OP. So I have a lot of room in it. And yeah, I mean, I like, look, look at this. Look, that's, that's good. Look how good these all are. I love this. But I've only ever worn it for Melty Berry Princess because I bought it for Melty Berry Princess because I couldn't figure out what to wear over top of that OP without my arms looking like sausages. I have literally one of my most favorite cardigans for very obvious reasons. And yeah, look at... I actually came upon this for like less than $20 in the Noma Noichi at Anime North and it was such a good buy because I was really looking for something to kind of tie in my French cafe coordinate together and this was the perfect thing and I just I love it so much and I'm so glad it's winter so I can try and wear it again but yeah I I mean it's so good look at it it's cute and it's by Dream V like you can't they really do make good like comfortable pieces okay so that is all of the <laughs> blouses and cutsos and boleros I own pretty much except for some like Taobao ones and off-frame ones that I didn't mention and I'm just gonna move right into my main pieces I forgot how many I have I said about 20 at the beginning of the video so we will see so I got this from someone at a swap meet like 
four years ago. It's a body line OP. And like, I know it's like, nah, body line. Um, I'm wearing a body line blouse right now that I really like, but I don't normally wear a lot of body line pieces. I actually don't own a lot of body line and I never did. But the, the few things that I did own, I either like got really rid of really quickly or I held on to. And this is one of them. It is a, just a really long red plaid, tartan, whatever, um, OP. And in the back, it's got like a ton of shirring and it's super duper comfortable. The only thing is, is I'm missing like one of the buttons. So I was thinking about taking them all off and then just like redoing the entire button situation at one point when I remember because I hardly ever look in my closet anymore. So this is my Princess Cat JSK. It is in the wine colorway. It is the peplum. I It's relatively new to me. And by new, I mean I bought it last year at some point from my friend Charlie. And I only just wear it like two weekends ago. So yeah, I really like it though. I love the cats. I mean, I love cats, but these cats in particular, they're so nice and so pretty. So the next JSK I have is Lovely Shopping in Red. My boyfriend bought this for me a couple Christmases ago because he is amazing. And there's something about this colorway that just trumps all of the other ones. I don't care. I love it so much. The red with the black and the pink, like this is... Oh, I, I really, really love Lovely Shopping. I didn't realize how much I loved it until I got it. It was always a dress that I was like, ooh, I really like, and I'd love to get that. But then when I got it, it was like, yes. So I mentioned that I had Melty Berry Princess. I have the red OP. It's fully shirred. It's beautiful. Berries. I only have one berry dress, which is really surprising because I really do love the way they look. I also love in Melty Berry Princess, it's got this like gold sheen to all the gold parts on it. This is removable, this is tied, this is tied, and it comes with a red waist belt instead of waist ties. Um, I love this dress. I think it's so comfortable. It's so pretty. I wore it for my birthday last year, so I'm going to wear it again this year, hopefully, and try to figure out a different way to coordinate it. So I should mention uh, these last three dresses I talked about, Princess Cat, Lovely Shopping, and Melty Berry Princess. I have the head bows for all of them, and I have the, the socks for Princess Cat, and I have two pairs of socks for Melty Berry Princess. I really love collecting whole sets. I know it sounds like uncreative or whatever when you coordinate them. You're like, oh, that's like really easy. I find it that it gives me a lot more opportunity to kind of tie in extra colors and color block and things like that. So pretty much everything I own has a matching head bow except for the stuff that doesn't and I will probably say what does and doesn't. I felt really lucky to find jewelry jelly or jelly jewelry. I never remember the order on which to say it but it is the special set. It's the only one that has the full back shirring on it and it's gorgeous. It's in amazing condition. The print still has glitter in it which is surprising considering this dress is God, I don't know how old it is. I will probably put it somewhere on the screen on how old it is, but it's, I think it's older. And I actually have the matching head bow for it too, which I was really lucky to find the whole special set. And I'm pretty sure the special set came in multiple colors. And if I do see it somewhere, secondhand, where I buy pretty much all of my dresses, I will be snapping it up because I love this dress. I bought this dress a few years ago from my friend Malisha. She was selling it because she wasn't as into Lolita anymore. Rip Melly and Lolita. She wears it like once a year still for Anime North and she looks amazing in Lolita, FYI. But yeah, she was selling this Powder Rose one. I obviously, I love it. I've loved this dress ever since I saw it on my friend Steph before we were friends, before we even knew each other. I saw it on her Tumblr and I was like, oh my God, what is that dress? And I've always wanted to own it. And when Malisha was selling it, I was like, yes, I will buy that from you. Please give it to me. <laughs> so I have the Sugar Dream Dome collar JSK in pink now. Thanks to my amazing boyfriend Christian who bought this for me for Christmas this year. Uh, I added the bear. I fucking love this dress. There is a detachable collar. It's got a fur trim on the bottom. It's got snow globes. It's got glitter. It's pink and sax and lavender and gold and white and just like it's amazing. This is probably one of my most favorite dresses and one of my most sought after dresses. So I even forgot that I owned this dress because I loaned it to my friend Lore for almost a year and it is Harlequinade Switching JSK in the pink and sax colorway. This dress is like, I didn't know I loved this dress again until I got it and I saw it in person. I was just like, oh, it's pretty cool and I like the whole like masquerade kind of Harlequin um, deal going on here. So I'm gonna, I bought it for when I went to the Tea Party Clubs uh, final event and it was called Dream Masquerade Carnival and I needed some sort of 
masquerade -y thing to wear. And yeah, this dress is beautiful. I made a, ha a matching headpiece for it, which I will show at the end. Oh yeah, and I do have the socks for Harlequinade. I keep forgetting to mention, but I, I have them. Oh, and I should note that dress was a birthday gift for my 30th birthday from my best friend Clara. Um, she's amazing and I love Clara and everyone I know who knows Clara loves Clara because she is amazing. I can't say it enough. Which is funny that I kind of go into this dress now because Clara bought me this one as well for Christmas, like I think like four years ago. Um, it is Secret Present, I think that's what it's called. It's got this really cute kind of wrapping like satin ribbon like all the way around like even onto the back and then this little cute detail on the back here um this one is super old i'm pretty sure but i love it the it needs a little tack because the bow kind of came undone again like i said it's old and it was like super loose when i got it but i love this dress it's really comfortable and just really cute and simple to wear so i like it for that reason especially Oh, and I should mention, I have the head bow for Powder Rose and Secret Present, but I do not have the head bow for Sugar Dream Dome or Harlequinade, which has plagued me for a long time because I'm still looking for them. So the second last pink dress I own is French Cafe. Oh, this dress is so fucking pink. This dress is so disgustingly like highlighter pink i when i got it i was like oh i don't know i don't know if i really like that because i can never find the blue the blue is my favorite i can never find it i uh, said so, you know what the pink looks really good online it's a little bright but maybe i can work it with something in my wardrobe and i got it and holy fuck it is so pink look at the bottom it's worth it for the bottom alone but i actually really i ended up falling in love with this dress for multiple reasons not just because it has amazing like jam on toast and preserves and teapots and eggs um i actually really liked it because of the color and it's one of those colors that kind of doesn't look like it belongs in sweet lolita or if it does it's like a little off but i'm i'm really fortunate that i have such wonderful friends i don't know how many more times i'm going to say that throughout this video probably a lot but this is one that I've been searching for the head bow for for at least five years and just a couple weeks ago my friend Brianna who is currently working in Japan as an Engli uh, English teacher yeah uh, she found the head bow well she I found the head bow and she snapped it up for me as a gift so I also have the matching socks for it um, yeah this this was surprisingly one of my favorite dresses and also surprisingly one of my most favorite coordinated dresses which I'll probably add a picture here Okay, so this JSK I got as a gift from my boyfriend literally today because he is amazing. I don't know what else to say about him other than the fact that he's amazing. And he just kind of gave it to me just like, it's a, it was a just because gift. Um, but it's definitely an early Valentine's Day gift or whatever we want to call it. Uh, it's just kind of like a nice surprise that he gave it to me today. And I I love this dress. And um, yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. It's the one that I saw, this has been worn by two people I know already and it's just like, it's like really special because I know other people have worn it or they've, they've had their own memories in it and it's cool. Like that's why I love secondhand buying, especially from friends because they can always dip into my closet if they want to wear it again. I also do not have the head bow or the socks for this yet. I will find something. So help me God. So that's pretty much it for my pink dresses. My pink dresses are like obviously take a good chunk of my wardrobe and I'm gonna move on to the other colors now, which I'm gonna move right into yellow because I have three yellow dresses. I lied, I technically have two yellow dresses, but then I have three cream ones, but I group them in with the yellows, but I'm gonna go through them in the same section because they're together in my closet anyway. Okay, so my first yellow dress is Mary Making Party in yellow. I fucking love this dress. Again, it's the kind of the same thing with the um, colors that I wasn't sure I would like, but this dark, dark pink is so, like, I love the contrast to the yellow and the head bow, which I have for this as well, looks really cute too. Um, it's one of the only prints that I think that has alcohol on it, which I think is super cool because it is a party on this dress and there's such cute little things all over it and uh, so my second yellow dress well my other yellow dress is wrapping heart in yellow look at this fucking dress i 
cannot understand how anyone could hate this dress at all because it's beautiful the gradient to the blue is so nice and i feel anyone who doesn't like this colorway should see it in person because i feel like that might change their mind and the reason why i'm saying it like that is because tyler willis from last week lolita news on scarfing scarves recently trashed the yellow colorway in her wardrobe video because she has the mint but i just don't understand i i just i love it and of course different strokes for different folks but isn't it nice to buy something that's more challenging to coordinate in your wardrobe? And I mean that entirely joking. I actually love Tyler and got to meet her the other weekend and she's fantastic and really fun to hang out with and is really funny and kind in person. So yeah, no shade. Also wrapping heart doesn't come with a head bow. I think it has tights, but no head bow. So this is a dress that made me love Baby the Star Shine Bright. And it is the Halloween Alice JSK in the corset version, again with the full back shirring. Holy shit, is this dress comfortable? I love it. The fabric is amazing on it. The details that I didn't really know existed online are stunning in person. Uh, the lace is all like super soft and it's just like, I can't really get enough of this. I think it's the perfect kind of Halloween dress for me. Um, I wore it for a Halloween photo shoot this year, which I'll probably put a picture somewhere. Oh, I also have this ivory off-white rectangle headdress that I bought from Baby the Starshine Bright directly when I was living in New York. It was like one of the only things that I could afford to buy there. The bar dollar was really, really bad, so I couldn't really do much shopping when I lived there for a few months. So my other like ivory yellowish dress is fantastic dolly in the ivory and mint colorway. Again, fuck, I love this dress so much. I've twinned it with my friend Brianna a couple times. So she has the other colorway and uh, other cut. This one actually does come in quite a few colors. It comes in red, gray, black, ivory, and lavender, I think. I don't think there's pink for this one. I also have the matching head bow and the socks for the set. Okay, so I had an ultimate dream dress for a very long time that I couldn't buy because I was super poor and I was barely able to eat, let alone buy Lolita. So I was so sad that I didn't get this dress. I admired it on literally everyone else and I just, I fawned over the details whenever I saw it in person. And my friend Stephanie owns it in the same cut and colorway and she loaned it to me for my 30th birthday to wear it. But little did I know that my boyfriend bought this dress for me for my 30th birthday. I could not believe it. I cried. This is my ultimate dream dress. And just looking at it still makes me excited. This dress makes me happy. I can't believe like the whole, like I've owned this dress for almost two years and I still love it so, so much. It's just the details and the colors and the print and the oh god like the, it's tiered and it's comfortable and this bow on the front like fuck i really love this dress this is why it's an ultimate dream dress i fucking love this dress but it's also um one of those dresses that like i look at it and i feel so like weirdly emotional probably because i got it for my birthday from my boyfriend but it also just reminds me of all my friends who also own this print. Also with uh, that Ivory Daydream Carnival, my boyfriend got it as a full set with the head bow and the tights. So he is unrefutably the best. I love this dress. Um, you don't love me. I only own one mint dress and it is Musée de Chocolat JSK in mint. And I've worn it once and that is because this dress has the saddest bows I have ever seen in my entire life on a fucking dress. And I'm not kidding. Like, look at this. What is this? Angelic Pretty? Explain. What is this? Like, I need to figure out a way to get this to stand up because it looks ridiculous and bad. And they are detachable, which is great, but I want to wear it with the pieces that come with it. Like, I, I like this. The one down here too? What the fuck? What is this? This is terrible. I hate it. Like, it's... Come on, AP. Like, you're better than this. Though I do like this little tassel thing. I also found this Coco Kim rosette. I actually have a very big relationship with rosettes, which you will see. Um, and, yeah, I found this on Depop, and a girl from California was selling it from an exclusive Coco Kim event. 
and I really just love the art on it. It matched the dress very well. I'm gonna give you a close up because it's super nice and it has like the custom printed ribbon and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I love this dress. Some people say the fringy shit is like no bueno, but I really do like it. I have some friends that don't like tassels. So give me a hard time about it sometimes, but I mean, it's a really pretty print and there's no fucking way I would ever fit into the princess sleeve OP. So I gotta live my best life with this one.